Yeah, I did read the script. Did you read the script? A championship gale of the assiduous matchup of men resplendent in physical acuity. It's utterly overwrought. Brady, the immortal gladiator. No emotions. I mean, it's melodramatic. Mortals, a fearless feline. The of potential. It's absurd. Resplendent. The assiduous combat. And it's 15 pages long. Theatrically pellucid. I thought you said it was a simple two-minute spot for the AFC championship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to put the thesaurus down. Oh, go talk to the director. That, that's an astonishingly original idea. Why didn't I think of that? Thank goodness I have an agent. Excuse me, are you directing this commercial? Oh, yes, I am. Mr. Malkovich, good to meet you. It's not a commercial, though. We actually, we call it a tease. A tease. A tease. Yeah, we like to tease the viewers with a big production so they tune into the game. But if they see this, aren't they already watching? I mean, so what are we teasing? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Isn't it, though? I guess it's just the terminology we use. I don't know. It's sports television. Sports television. Yeah. Okay. Different than what you're used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, listen, I want to talk to you about the script, because there are things in here I just, I don't think people say the furtive genius of Foxborough. Yeah, football fans eat it up, though. They love it. I'm not sure this is right for me. Couldn't you just get Jim Nance to narrate over some footage? Of... We did try to get Nance, yeah. yeah but wasn't really in his contract, so. He's got a strict contract. Yeah. And I mean, an orchestra? We got the budget for it. We thought, why not? It's not my money. Is that really necessary? Wait until you hear them play, OK? Hey, Helmet, would you play Mr. Malkovich a song, please? Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. OK, from the top, then. No, it's just, I think you've, you've overcomplicated this story. I mean, this is, is one of the simplest, oldest stories there is. This is an ancient story from olden times, okay? It is the story of David versus Goliath. Okay, well, maybe that was a little much, but it's not that much. The story of the mighty giant against the tiny underdog. The story of the overwhelming favorite against the long shot with absolutely no chance. But the point is, what does football teach us? Anything in the world can happen on that field. Anything. You always have a chance. We absolutely know it in our bones. Look at what Bortles, Fournette, and the Jaguars did only last weekend. You say yes, but now it's against the Patriots. It's different. You are fighting a giant. They don't have one Goliath. They are two Goliaths. Brady, Belichick, relentlessly. The machine stomps on. The, that's where I'm thinking you should cut in the NFL footage. Yeah. Fournette goes airborne. Sensational. is the NFL's David. Incredible! Versus the NFL's Goliath. Sheer domination continues. For the right to play in the Super Bowl. It's that simple. I mean, that's what I would have said. You know, uh, otherwise it's, it's too complicated. Please tell me you were rolling on that. You never said action, so.